Hey YouTube friends, on this video we're going to be going to, where are we going to? We're going to Fremont Weir Wildlife Area. It's a 1500 uh, acre wildlife area. It butts up to the Sacramento River. You got about two miles of the river that you can fish. Plus it's a wildlife area and it's open for hunting. So I wanted to go and check it out. But before we check that the video out, I want to bring you online and show you some of the tools that I use for e-scouting. Uh, but before we go ahead and do that, what I want to do is I want to give a shout out to Tom C and Andrew M for making a contribution to the channel. Uh, it really helps guys. I really appreciate it. In fact, it paid for the gas and bait uh, to go on this trip. And I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate you and I wanted to give you a shout out. If you want to make a contribution to the channel and keep me on the road, you'll find a PayPal me link in the description box uh, below the Google Earth and the coordinates that I'm about to give for this new area. So with all that said, let's go ahead and let's hop online and uh, I'm going to show you how I e scouted this. All right, so how I scout area is today. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Fremont Weir Wildlife Area. So first off, usually what I do is I'll check it out on the California Department of Fish and Wildlife website. And here they'll have a description. The Fremont Weir Wildlife Area consists of approximately 1,500 acres of tall, weedy vegetation, brush, valley oaks, willows, and cottonwood trees. Pheasant, valley quail, and waterfowl are found here. The area is a floodway. When the water level in the Sacramento River reaches a high level, the water flows over the Fremont Weir into the Yellow Bypass. In 1978, fishing and to a lesser extent hunting were the major public uses for the area, and these uses continue today. And then it'll come down and it'll tell you all the recreational activities, for instance, fishing, wildlife viewing, pheasant hunting, waterfowl hunting, deer hunting, quail hunting, turkey hunting, hunting with shotguns, and archery hunting only. So if it doesn't have, uh, you know, the rifle, guy with the rifle, there's no rifle hunting. This is a shotgun and archery only area. And then down here, it will give you, uh, like the pheasant hunting population is good. Waterfowl best hunting is late in the season. If there has been enough rain to fill the low areas, morning dove, cotton rat, and jackrabbit scattered throughout the area. And for deer hunting is zone D4 archery. And uh, quail and wild turkey populations are fair. So there you have it. So we looked at the fish and wildlife and what they have to say about it. So next what I do is I'd go to Onyx Maps, which is my mapping system. You might use a different mapping system, that's fine. So I see that everything in brown is public access. Everything here in brown is accessible by the public. If I click onto it, there we go. It'll bring up, yes, it's California government lands, Fremont Weir Wildlife Area. And it will give me the, the exact acreage, 1,429.206 acres. Now, Game wardens use Onyx maps to, to settle any kind of uh, trespassing disputes. So you could trust Onyx maps. Okay, and usually after when I'm done with Onyx maps, I'll go to Google Earth and already have it loaded up. Or actually, before we go to Google Earth, why don't we go to uh, Google Maps? So here we have Fremont Weir. Now, if I wanted directions on getting there, what I do is I'd hit the directions where I'm from, let's say Vacaville. And boom, there you go. So you have directions from Vacaville. And I see once I leave Highway 5, I'm going to catch 117 on the other side of the Garden Highway and connect on to 16 and so forth. That would bring me over to here. So uh, Google Maps will give you, they're pretty good on their directions. Sometimes uh, when you're traveling out of cell phone range, if you're not in cell phone area, Google Maps uh, can kind of get a little bit tricky on you. But for the most part, I, I trust Google Maps. So then when I've gotten directions, usually that's when I'll go over to Google Earth and I'll check it out. Now I know that there's a gate here. Okay, and I've heard that right here uh, in this little piece of waterway here that you can catch a uh, largemouth bass and crappie. I'm not going to be fishing that little part here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hike from the gate down this levee 
and I'm going to get back in here and fish somewhere in here. I'm not sure uh, because you can't really trust Google World for, I mean, you can kind of get the terrain type with Google World, but like, for instance, if this area was burned, it may not show it. Google, Google Earth doesn't really refresh it too often, every couple of years, I think. So uh, sometimes you'll miss uh, landslide areas, burns, things like that. But still, Google Earth is a really good tell um, for telling terrain type, you know, where, where the water is and uh, hillsides, things like that. You'll see. Just just play with it and uh, and, and you'll get a feel for it. But those are the, basically the, the four different types I use. I use the uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife. And if I can't find an area with them, then I'll go to BLM or U.S. Forest Service. And then usually I'll, I'll go with Google Maps to get my directions, Google Earth to do a terrain search, and then Onyx to get my boundaries and my waypoints. I've already added these two waypoints. I added the gate here and I added kind of an area that I want to go fishing at here. So I haven't been here yet, so I'm going to leave tomorrow morning, and uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll run that video along with right after I'm done with this, and you can see the video. Then at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll do a recap. So uh, let's go check it out. Well, here we are. Well, looks a lot different than it does on the map. And where I'm heading, it's going to be about almost two miles in that direction down that levee. Fishing better be worth it. But I think just finding the spot is going to be worth it. I think there's going to be some small game hunting. Hopefully spot some deer. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Well, I'd have to say that the, the walk back in here is enough to keep most people out. Now that the fog's lifting a little bit. You can see it a little bit better. Apparently there's some there's a herd, there's a little herd of deer in here. You can find pheasants, ducks, quail. I haven't really seen nothing yet. I got about another mile to go. Well I tell you, this is a pretty long hike to get back in here. But I'm here. Looks like the gravel extends out in that direction. See how this works. Definitely some current. May have to put on more uh, weight. Seems to have settled. I'll leave it for a little bit. See what happens.
No bites yet. Well, I got a really good bite. There's a shelf that comes out through here. And I'm casting off to the right of the shelf. There's a deeper pool. A little bit closer to the bank. And I got a pretty good hit. So I'm going to try that spot again. So there's this rocky shelf that goes out and angles that way. I'm fishing on this side of it and I got a really good bite. Didn't set the hook. Then after about a half an hour I switched over to this side again. And I got another really good bite. So I'm trying to fish off the, the, the low point on each side of it. Because it's a hole in here and there's a hole over here. I'm hoping that they're sitting in the holes with the current bringing things down. So far I've gotten a couple good bites so I know there's fish in here. I mean there's no doubt there's fish in here. It's the Sacramento River. So it's been about a half an hour since my last bite. So I'm going to try a Try a night crawler. Thread my hook with them with these three uh, worm threaders. Yeah, it dropped right into the hole. Well, I've gotten four or five really good hits. I'm really kicking myself in the butt for not bringing some lures out here. But uh, I wasn't really thinking. All I brought was anchovy and uh, and some night crawlers. But I've been getting hits on them. But uh, like I've said before in the introduction to the video, is uh, not only am I interested in the fishing here, but I'm really interested in what's going on in here with game. As I was coming in, I seen a lot of deer tracks in a couple different locations crossing the levee. Uh, next time I come in here, I'm definitely gonna bring my compound bow and do a little small game hunting. Uh, right now, rabbits and squirrel are in season. But I've also heard that there's pheasant, there's quail in here, and uh, of course the deer, like I said before. And that's what's really got me excited is the deer. It looks a lot different than it does on like, say Onyx Maps or even Google World. Uh, there's a lot more cover than I imagined there to be. So uh, this being a bow, home, bow only hunting area, uh, here, let me clarify. In this area here, you could only bring shotgun or bow. There's no rifle hunting. So me being a bow hunter, well, uh, this is just right up my alley. So I really want to get in here with my bow and I want to scout for deer and do a little bit of small game hunting. But I'm gonna give it here about another hour. I know there's fish in here. So uh, you have the coordinates to this spot right here where I'm standing. Uh, plus you have a mile in that direction and a, probably about a half a mile in that direction of uh, a bank you could fish. So don't let my lack of fishing skills stop you. Just you know, just like just because I'm not catching something today doesn't mean that you're not going to catch something tomorrow coming in here. There's a big old salmon making the run up. I might have got him with my net if I tried. There you go there. <laughs> You're wondering if there's any fish in here. Boy, that salmon looked beat up. Fish on. Oh. Oh. Oh, he 
got off. Well, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. So I'm going to pack up, put my camera away. But uh, hopefully I can get some footage of some animals on the way out. Seen that salmon go up. And I got another hit or two. Hooked onto that one. He got off. So I know there's fish in there, but it's getting late in the day and I want to pack up. Plus I want to walk slow out of here. Maybe I can see something. So I'm going to get everything packed up. Here's some more real good deer tracks. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely coming back here with my bow, do a little bit of small game hunting. Check out if I could spot some of these deer. had it you know i had a really good day even though i didn't catch any fish it was really nice going into a new area i'm sure there's fish in there uh one of the things that blew me kind of away was uh the banks weren't all brushed out there's plenty of room to fish and there was no trash which tells me that i i doubt that a lot of people go back in their fish because unfortunately as we know you get a, a hot area where there's a lot of fishermen and there's going to be trash but there was no trash along that bank and very there, i seen one other set of footprints uh i would suggest if you don't want to walk back in there possibly bring a bike you could ride a bicycle down that levee no problem and cut probably about a mile and a half off your walk uh this is going to be a video series this is going to be the first part of uh, the second part i will be going in with the compound bow and i'll be doing some small game hunting you know squirrel rabbit uh whatever i see that's in season but what i'm really going to do is i'm going to go in there on a scout for deer i'd like to find some bucks in there before they drop their horns uh see if there's some big bucks in there and if there is you know what i just might bow hunt in 2021 archery season not sure yet i got to get in there but i'll probably at least do uh four videos uh this video which is a fishing one two uh small game hunts and another fishing video so there'll be at least uh four videos on this particular area so if you like this content <clears throat> and uh you like the content of the channel just like 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 the video subscribe to the page leave a comment if you've ever fished or hunted that area tell us about your experience and uh so that's pretty much it for today so we'll see you next time on california public land hunter we'll see you